Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to another video and uh, today I am going to telling a shocking news that Jesus is coming back. I mean in Christianity Jesus is uh, devoted his life for the sake of all humanity but today I am talking about the actual and the true Jesus I mean the Isa alayhi salam and it is very shocking for Muslims and uh, I will tell you why it is shocking for Muslims in this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's get into the video before i start i just want to say the materials in earth is earthly materials and those materials from heaven we can certainly call them heavenly materials is there any heavenly materials in earth yes is the hajar al asad the black stone according to tradition this stone was given to adam on his expulsion from the paradise in order to obtain forgiveness for his sins we muslims believe that the stone was originally pure and dazzling white but has since turned black because of the sins of the people who touched it so does it inspire us to do sins well we'll talk about that in another video let's go back to jesus and find out when he is coming in christianity the crucifixion of jesus is central of to the faith and is viewed as a sacrificial act of the atonement for the sins of humanity christians believe that jesus as the son of god and the messiah willingly died on the cross to fulfill god's plan of salvation as of isaiah verse 53.5 but he was pierced for our transgression he was cursed for our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed well the heavenly materials are already placed on earth the hajar al asad the black stone to collect our sins but why in the name of god they planned to crucify and kill jesus well human can't be able to kill a heavenly thing till allah want them to jesus true name according to quran was isa alayhi wasallam is be upon him he was sent to guide the children of israel with the new script called injil the gospel where he also declared god is only one and it is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is similar to islam he wanted to spread islam but the children of israel took it on different level but isa alayhi salam was never been crucified as of surah an nisa verse 157 and around 158 instead they sacrificed someone else now why they did such acts why they are killing their own species for the sake of everyone's sin how it's been relevant all those who made up the stories and done such or stacked will never be sinless instead they will be getting sinner and sinner day by day while they are following the false god can't you realize jesus was never been willing to sacrifice himself for someone and the sake for all their sin as the topmost living being it's forbidden to kill a person where sacrifice records for shaitanism only rather the people of that era they changed the whole narrative and created a new history in different different testaments by the help of shaitan they didn't even recognize which led them the falsehood day by day now where are they in the grave as a living being all life will come to an end and it is the promise from almighty allah none can avoid death till they are heavenly newborn child is in less divine life but the resurrection will come with sins and we all will have to face the almighty allah in the judgment day earth life is the start of life for each living being ever born by death it is a transitional period where we will enter another realm then why all the propaganda why all the false messages why all the sinful acts how dare you to take the chances against the almighty allah here comes the interesting part of shaitan shaitan is always there to deceive you and to do sinful acts those who know the truth and a true believer shaitan can't be able to touch them as allah gave the power to shaitan to reach every heart and in every vein to let you feel the power of dark things and to let the feel the dignity of the earth with the wealth and earthly wealth is the first lies of shaitan when you know you're dying what you will do with the wealth because they deceive us and continuously they are doing it to us even our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him was being attacked by the shaitan in fact i heard that the jesus was the heavenly result of adam and eve while they been deceived by the shaitan while they were in the heaven as a result adam and eve violated almighty allah's order and later placed on earth but the result 
Jesus was remain in heaven on Almighty's will. As every living human being have to born and maybe that's why later Isa Salam came to life by the Moriam, I mean Moriam Allah Salam, the mother of Jesus. While Quran justify her purity by Surah Moriam, Subhanallah. Only Almighty Allah knows better. I am just telling you the controversies that's been created by the Christianity. As just being a creation, we can't be able to judge or scale Almighty Allah's power and creation. Why Allah done this or that? It is one and only Allah's will. Allah isn't accountable for anything. We don't have the right or power to judge Al Almighty Allah. Allah is the most powerful and the most merciful and all power. For those who are asking, can Allah do that? Can Allah do this? Or can Allah do, I mean, whatever the thing? Shame of you who are asking this type of questions. Because infinity is infinity. There is no limit for the constant. Just think when human is a creator of something and as human, we have a limit and we can't exceed our limit. Because our power live in a limit. That's why we people usually ask can you do it or can you do that these are the earthly questions while allah has the all power uh, i mean the limitless power the earthly questions we arise just became invalid hope that explains a lot now here comes the interesting part when the jesus is coming well today i'll give only the reference from al quran no hadith or nothing at all if you ask why no hadith as some of the hadith came out false some came false means we can't take it as reference which means they deceived people already knew about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they planned a blueprint how they will draw the attention to their prophets i am talking about isa alaihi wasallam the masiya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent prophets for the dedication tribes except Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As all the prophets came from Almighty Allah and everyone said about the last prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Basically Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the last and the final seal for the messengers who were sent by Almighty Allah for all the mankind of the universe. Because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the friend of Almighty Allah. Allah wouldn't create the universe if Allah didn't create it, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Amen. Can you imagine the level of Almighty Allah love to, to our beloved Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? After him, no one is receiving any more messages from Almighty Allah. No matter which earthly language or which end of the world it is coming, but no one is gonna receive messages from Almighty Allah. If someone stated it reveals as a falsehood, which means if Isa Salam came to earth, he isn't capable of receiving any more messages. Though he spread Islam past, only Allah knows better. But without the help of Almighty Allah, how Isa Salam will spread the truth? If Allah wants, Allah can send all the prophets again or resurrect them from death but as a reference from Al Quran, it was never mentioned that Allah will send him again in earth from heaven and let the people enlightened by him, which Allah knows better. But as of Hadith, there has been told that Islamic eschatology holds that Jesus will return at the end of the time to restore justice and defeat the false Masiyah, Al Masih ad Dajjal. His return is seen as a sign of the day of judgment. But when it is close to the day of judgment there will no dua work anymore will you wait for that long for the actual proof of almighty allah when you revert to islam will have no impact on your life or will you search for the truth and will receive islam and take sunnah and shahada in the name of allah and muhammad sallallahu alaihi as soon as possible don't be late allah wants the purity with all your soul and all your heart in flesh and blood you have to take the islam before it is too late or we fail to revert you or give you the proper dawah but as a muslim i felt really ashamed that another messenger is coming and muhammad sallam and also the quran failed to teach the people about the truth and the light of almighty allah maybe they are the deceived person and uh, who will remain in hell for the rest of the life i'm not sure only allah knows if this happened this is a kiyama I mean the judgment day is coming. Don't be late as most of the Muslims still believe Isa salam is coming and that he will get the rebirth and he will have the parents and so on. I feel really ashamed that it is not Allah promised but Allah knows better. All the books from Almighty Allah sent in total like 104 books as far I know landed on the earth but most of them got reshaped or rephrased in different manner. Not as like the prophets told their tribes. Why that happened? Because they are being deceived by the 
the shaitan they don't even know because people want the proof of almighty allah and the shaitan can create mirage and they got believed in the false god how you believe may allah give them the hidayah i mean creation of almighty allah we wanted to see the almighty creator but i think we are not trained or ready yet only allah knows better our eyes and brains are not yet ready to receive that much power but i think no more jesus is coming on earth but if he comes it would be humiliating over quran as the words of almighty quran didn't mention about another prophet is coming or jesus is coming only allah knows better that's all from today guys hope you all enjoy the video if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all soon with another islamic video i hope till then have fun good luck and